I got my sunglasses back. Thank God. So last night, got back, flew in to this dreary and overcast, rainy skies. We drove about 25 miles and stayed the night at the Walmart in Strathmore, Alberta. It's a really small town with a little Walmart, doesn't even have any like ready to go food. Usually there's like a Tim Hortons, McDonald's or Subway or something. Not this one. But we were able to spend the night, so that's cool. And that took us out of Calgary, so we don't have to be in Calgary traffic today. And we're already about 25 miles east. So we're going t towards um, Saskatchewan. So today's plan is to get to, I think it's called Regina. Yeah. Marlene left Balzac yesterday, and today we're going to Regina. Leaving Strathmore Walmart. Strathmore is a little town outside of Calgary. On my way back from LA yesterday on the plane, I downloaded Interstellar from Amazon Prime Video and watched it on the plane. A good tip for travelers, if you have Amazon Prime, you also have Amazon Prime Video, which gives you a bunch of videos like Netflix does that you can watch, TV shows, movies, blah, blah, blah. But unlike Netflix, Amazon Prime now lets you download a movie or a TV show, save it on your device, and watch it while you're offline. Just like, uh, like, like their rental service. But you don't have to pay because it's included in your Amazon Prime. So that's what I did on the plane yesterday. Use the airport Wi-Fi, download a few movies. I've had Interstellar in my queue for a while, but finally got around to seeing it yesterday. Really good movie. The scene, I don't know if any of you have seen it, but the scene of um, their farm. So the family lives on the farm. It is shot just outside of Calgary in Alberta, which I thought was kind of neat because they wanted, they wanted farmland with also mountain scenes in the background without having to use any CGI to create the mountains or the farm. So they actually found a piece of land because as you guys know maybe by now that Calgary is just east of the Canadian Rockies. So in one of the scenes, you can see the mountain, or in a few of the scenes, you can see the mountains in the back. And in the movie also, they have 500 acres of corn. They didn't just go to a, a farm where they already had the corn. They actually grew the corn for the movie. They grew 500 acres of corn for six months for the movie on this piece of land. After they shot the movie, they actually sold the corn for a profit. That's pretty cool. And the movie examines and puts into practice a lot of Einstein's theory of relativity. So as much as it is trying to be scientifically accurate, so much of what they do in the movie, nobody can say it's right or wrong because nobody knows. Like what happens when you go into a wormhole? What happens when you go into a black hole? What is, what is it like to live in five dimensions? That kind of stuff. Yes, I know I'm like three, maybe four years behind on Interstellar. Today said they were going to eat healthier. All right. What can we get here that's healthier? Don't huh? pick the donuts. No donuts for us? No donuts. Okay. Where'd you get that book? Oh. I didn't know you had a comic book. Let me see the cover. Oh yeah, it's her little pony book. Where'd you buy that? When I was gone? Yeah. Oh. Reading books yesterday, I heard. Hundred facts of deadly animals? Who wanted that book? Luca. Yeah, Luca is a little. He's a little violent, I think. He wants to kill Yoda with a wrecking ball. Oh. 
Is that a kid driving? You know what this town is called? Hey, Rob, you know what this town is called? This town is called Medicine Hat. Yeah, it's called Medicine Hat. We're at the town of Medicine Hat. I believe it's still in Alberta. Uh, taking a little break. We need to get gas. So we're going to get gas here at Costco. And we're going to go inside. Maybe get something to drink or maybe something to eat. Maybe do a little shopping first. You want to get a cart? A cart? Yeah. So why are you walking like that? Are you sad? You can't even walk from the car to the to the store anymore. No, we have solar panels. It's one ninety nine for eighty watt panels. What do we do for your next birthday? No, it's okay. We have solar panels. We, it's not the kind that we need, but like if we were building it completely from scratch, then we could buy four of those and then be good. We've dedicated ourselves to eating healthy. After I get back from LA, no <laughs> car. We need to get out of this section right. because I'm. So, first thing we get is giant pack of tortillas. We got bread and we traded it for we tortillas. We got rid so of the better. bread. Right? Maybe a little bit. It's all stuff that's bad for you. Cheesecake. Do you have any onions for the hot dogs? Cool, thank you. They have onions for the hot dog, you just have to ask. So at these Costco's in Alberta, they don't have onion. They don't have onions over at the machines, but you can get a cup of it if you ask. Thanks to somebody who commented about it. That's a little healthier than what I'm eating. You said we're going to eat healthier. Well, I'm not eating a pizza. Even Costco. Beer is super expensive. Oh, Seventy-three dollars for a forty-eight pack. I think this is what we got before. It was okay. Yeah, we'll do it again. Oh, we had a rest area in Saskatchewan. We just crossed into Saskatchewan. This is the nice part about. Having a little porta potty, we can just dump it in here and not have to find a RV dump station. Saskatchewan, we're here. Mama. We're in a new state. This is the Canadian province of Saskatchewan. We've never been here before. Are you guys super excited? You know, I'm sure there are a lot of cool things to see in Saskatchewan. And if we had a bunch of time on our hands, maybe we would hang out and explore some more, but... We were planning to, but we sort of... Well, we were going to be out on the East Coast until like January, but now we're trying to get there, spend a month or two there, and then come back by October. So we really can't just kind of hang out in Saskatchewan or Manitoba even. So... Sorry, Saskatchewan. We're going to cruise. But I'm, I think one day we'll be back. It's a lot like the middle of the U.S. There's no mountains. There's just some kind of rolling hills. All right, so, I mean, I think we're just above um, eastern Montana right now, which geographically looks a lot like that. And western Montana, like Glacier National Park, that's along the same mountain range as the Canadian Rockies so you can get an idea about what that's like and there's cool stuff out here like if you get a little bit further east it will be directly north of the border of Montana and North Dakota and that's where Theodore Roosevelt National Park is in North Dakota right on the border of that um, longitude so straight up from there you get Saskatchewan there's Moose Jaw, we're on our way to Swift Current, and then um, between that is the town of Regina. 
So that's where we're headed right now. We got another, I don't know, 240 miles or so. Landing in Canada. This is Moose Jaw. No, this is uh, Swift River, Saskatchewan. So, what do you think the chances of them of there being Pokemons around here that I can catch? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I see one. What? I see a Pokemon. Where? 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 What do you mean What do you mean? You gotta right go there. find him? No. Oh, he's under a car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you playing? What are you playing, Daddy? There's again? a Pokemon in front of Rudy's box. I got him. Daddy, what are you playing? What's happening? I, 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 what are you I, playing? I have no idea what's I, happening. I got a Pokemon. I caught a Pokemon in my car. It was a mankey. Mankey. Look. Look like half pig, half cat. Mankey. I, 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 Daddy, what are you playing? Pokemon Go. Uh, just a brief stop. Stretch our legs. Kids were getting kind of antsy, so we did some food shopping at Costco, but of course. We can't buy everything we need at Costco, so we did come here to the Walmart and pick up the rest of what we need. Now we can head to where we're gonna be for the night, which I think will be Moose Jaw. Are you installing Pokemon Go? You told me to. <laughs> no, the kids, I kids. Kids, Google. you made the kids cry because you don't want to share your phone. Yeah. Then you just choose your whatever Google account to log in with. In every corner of the earth. Some run across the plains, others fly through the sky, some, some live in the mountains or in the forest or near the water. I have spent my whole life studying them and their regional distribution. Will you help me with my research? And will you guys help? Alright, look us into it. Look at this point first. Look at that rainbow. Look at Daddy's phone. Oh my god, that's huge. Yeah. Straight for it. We're gonna go right place? under it. It's like the St. Louis Arch. Hey, 18 kilometers away from Moose Jaw. That's like the uh, welcome gates to Moose Jaw.